Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we just received software update 2023.6.8, which now allows you to enter service mode. And uh, to do that, you want to go to the settings screen and then software, and then you'll see your Model 3 uh, badging there. So what you want to do is press that Model 3 wording there until you see a flash, and then you'll see a prompt. And you want to type in service, S-E-R, BICE, -E. okay. Service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle. Are you sure you want to enter service mode? Caution, do not enable service mode on public roads unless there is a maintenance requirement to do so. We're all good, we will check in. And um, just take note too that I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just an end user, so just be very careful if you enter service mode and you're not sure what you're doing. Uh, just have a look, you know, and unless you actually know what you're doing, just be very careful mucking around back here. All right, so in service mode, you've got the VIN there, you've got the odometer in miles and kilometers. I've got the full self-driving computer, autopilot hardware, Intel Atom, so an older Model 3, and then firmware right there, as I said, 2023.6.8. Let's have a look at service alerts. Okay, so there's the service alerts. I was mucking around with the calibration before for the window. I'll go through that as well. And then uh, service settings, so you can override a few of these to check, I guess, like remove speed limit. Currently it's limited to 7 miles an hour or 11 kilometers an hour in service mode. Uh, Bluetooth, yep, walk away lock, all these things in the settings you can override uh, back here in the service mode. Uh, software reinstall, uh, software reinstall should only be used if a CANECU has been replaced. So just be very careful with that. I won't be reinstalling mine. Touch check, so you can, hello there. You can uh, check if false touch events are triggered to exit to tap two corners of the display simultaneously. So every time you tap, you get a little red cross. And if you want to get out of there, just press the corners like that. Okay, then there's something called brake burnishing. So this procedure should only be performed by service professionals. Regenerative motor torque will be set to zero to help brake burnishing. Instructions and live brake pressure information will be available on the display. Always pay attention to road and traffic conditions when driving. You should only perform brake burnishing on empty roads with no traffic behind you. So this is to help, I guess, the brake pads. Okay, so the instructions here on how to do this. So that's for brake burnishing. And then you can start the guided process that way. Uh, and then there's additional resources through here as well from the website. Right, so that's the main screen. And then you've got driver assist things like cameras. You can see how well your car is running. So it looks like all the cameras are working well. All the sensors are working well. Everything's green. I like green. Green is good. This is the infotainment screen. Connectivity wise, everything is green as well. You can see, you know, uh, Wi-Fi link to my home Wi-Fi. Tesla connection is good. Cell link is also good. Modem is good. So I'm happy. So this is where it gets interesting. This is the high voltage battery. So BMS temperatures, max temperature, uh, high voltage interlock loop, charge port connection at penthouse, pack connectors, all those things. Uh, lots of green, green is good. So again, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. And then the HV system. So green again is good. Uh, standard charge 58.5, correlates with that. Um, and you can do a health test as well. So if I press health test here, uh, so I've got to unlock the gateway. So what I do is hold the right turn signal in the active position, which is this one to the right, right indicator, and then press the brake down on the brake for eight seconds. So hold to the right, oh, put my pin on. Gateway unlock in progress. Okay, here we go. So gateway state unlocked. The gateway will be unlocked again. It will be locked again in 89 minutes. So you get an hour and a half to play around with this. So in this state, we can do a health test like this. So let's read this. So health, vehicle needs to be plugged into a greater than six kilowatt AC charger. The test will take up to 24 hours. Do not interact with the vehicle or the test may abort. Um, before running this routine, state of charge must be below 50%. Vehicle must be plugged into an AC charging station capable of at least six kilowatts. Test may take up to 24 hours. HV battery will be discharged and then charged to full. Heat will be generated outside the vehicle during discharge. So I presume a lot of heat will be discharged from this car. If we run this test, it'll take 24 hours. I just can't afford to do this right now. We need the car tomorrow. So I'll have to find some time 
maybe the school holidays when we don't need this car at all. We're in it for 24 hours and we get a good idea of what the battery state of health is. But there we go. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned in the channel. We might do that one day in the future. Uh, and then you've got uh, low voltage battery power distribution. Again, green is good. We've got current voltage there running at 13 volts. Yep. Everything else seems to be good. Don't want to touch all these, of course. I don't have to. Home link, you can test home link. So I've got home link running. This action will perform a self test to check LIN connections to the home link ECU. This routine will only take a few seconds. So that's good. Okay, so routine passed, home link is good. And then you can test uh, actions from there. So again, this is the coolant system. I don't want to run this too much. I don't know what's going on here. So you can do self test that way. So I'll leave that alone for the time being. Alignment of tires. So yeah, my steering wheel is uh, a bit off center. And if I turn it, you can go back to zero that way in green. So that's dead center. That seems to fit pretty well. Just looking at my steering wheel too. So I'll leave that back to minus eight. Um, you can do a steering column calibration test and offset is certainly at zero, which is good. That's the way I like it. And this bit's fun too. So you can actually from here do a window calibration test, which is what I did earlier. Because I saw this was in red, the speed table built okay. This was red on the left front. So I did a calibration test and everything seemed okay after that. So let me show you what happens when you do a calibration test. I'll just get my camera up so you can see uh, what else is going on here. So let's press calibrate windows. I'll get my phone camera running so you can see. Okay, so windows will roll up and down to calibrate. Pinch detection and door release buttons are disabled during the calibration. Calibration all windows, end stops and pinch detection. Before running routine, ensure all doors are closed. After starting routine, do not open door or press window switch button. All right, let's get it rolling. Let's press run, progress. And then you can see the windows going absolutely nuts. You can hear that as well. Okay, almost done. All right, so window calibration passed, all good. Green is good. All right, so that's what I'd like. Window replacement, this network will run all required tasks up to a windshield wiper replacement. Okay, so not replacing window windshield replacements today, so we can close that. Okay, so that is basically service mode, everyone. Um, I guess of interest to me, like I said, is probably the high voltage HV system for the health test. We'll do that sometime when we've got time. And then you can see a countdown for the um, gateway uh, being unlocked. Like I said, 90 minutes, plenty of time. Um, okay, so to get out of service mode, you want to press this button here. Okay, so go there and exit service mode like that. Hold to exit. And boom, you are back to where you need to be on the main screen. All right, everyone, that is software update uh, 2023.6.8 with uh, service mode now being enabled. Uh, at home, anywhere you like really. Previously you had to go to a service center or a Tesla authorized body shop, I guess, and that way you can enter service mode in your when you're in the vicinity of that uh, location, but now you can do it anywhere, which is great. Uh, and again, another word of warning, just be very careful. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, like myself, then just have a look, but don't play around with it too much and enjoy. Otherwise, take care. Until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging.